God can restore us. Isaiah 54 verse 1 Sing, O barren, you who have not borne, break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who have not labored with child, for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married woman, says the Lord. God is speaking to Israel who was in Babylonian captivity, now in exile, and who had been through afflictions, who was oppressed uh, and was disgraced and shamed. Uh, in Bible times, uh, someone who did not bear children faced uh, this kind of a shame and, and, and that's, that's why the comparison. You know, God is, is asking Israel to let go of her past and God is, is promising Israel that He will restore her. Uh, here Israel is being compared to someone who is not born children but the promise of God to, to someone who has faced shame is that He will grant many children or He will cause uh, the person who has been through shame to experience restoration and thriving. No, he continues to, to uh, bring this hope to Israel and he also uh, asks Israel to prepare in verse 2 to enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch out the curtains of your dwellings. Do not spare, lengthen your cords and strengthen your stakes. For you shall expand to the right and to the left, and your descendants will inherit the nations and make the desolate cities inhabited. So God is promising an expansion of family to someone who's not even had that one child she dreamt of. And so God is prophesying into a, a, a barren situation. And he's saying that he's going to do the impossible. He's going to do the unimaginable. Where, uh, they, where we did not see fruit, we are going to see so much fruit that we have to start preparing for it. And verse 1 began by asking Israel to start singing. Even before we see the restoration, you know, God is calling us to rejoice in Him. Such is the message of hope that He is speaking to Israel. Uh, and today, you know, some of us could be going through challenging circumstances uh, and we probably can relate to what Israel went through, the disgrace that Israel faced. Uh, but our God is a God of restoration. He is our Redeemer. We could have been through delays. We could have been through disappointments. We could have been through discouragements. But the same word comes to us. You know, God begins by saying, sing aloud, meaning I am turning your mourning into dancing. And God is saying to us, expand, enlarge. Now, though you did not see fruit in the past, I'm doing something new in your life. I'm resurrecting dreams and, and you will bear much fruit as compared to the days gone by. And that's the hope we have. And that's the mighty God we serve. Let's put our hope in God. He is able to restore us. He is our restorer. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that your hand is a powerful hand. God, we pray that each one of us, Father, experience this mighty restoration. Uh, Lord, in, in any situation where we've had a setback, oh God. Lord, you have promised that you will cause us to rejoice. That Lord, you will restore us to a place of fruitfulness. So God, I prophesy fruitfulness. Lord, over barrenness in the lives of the people. Lord, even from this moment forward, God, thank you. Thank you for the work of the Spirit, Lord. Thank you for, for a revival, O oh God. Thank you for an awakening, Father God. Thank you for a restoration. We honor you for what you're doing. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.